an action plan must address all threats on the personal and collective level, be freely and readily accessible to all humans. All threats would include what are called climate changes, which is the threat most mentioned in the media and therefore the most well-known threat, it must however be seen if there are even more important threats, locally or collectively, and whether resolving these eventual more important threats would also resolve that most mentioned threat. An action plan and solution, proven in other videos and ebooks, that we suggest to call the Agroforest Action Plan, in this video still with some assumptions, goes as follows. Suppose humans find consensus that transforming all agriculture in much more producing agroforests with deep dark soils that permanently sequester the carbon dioxide largely captured out of the air under the forest canopy but also out of the atmosphere above the forest canopy, would fully address the most important threats, including the by the media most mentioned threat, climate change. Suppose it is scientifically proven, which we argue in other videos, or humans find consensus that this would sequester 35 to 100 billion tons of carbon dioxide a year, this would make it clear that the most mentioned threat would be solved, as well or as a beneficial effect of addressing another more important threat. This, dramatic, example is exactly where the PDB action plan and model focuses most. So what is left is to prove that this agroforest action plan is desired by all, or rather has clear advantages for all, efficient, economic, and also that it can be incorporated in all, certifiable, models over the world. What is also left is to prove that there is no other action plan that even comes close to the above claims and agroforest action plan. While the latter is not essential, it could fasten believers in other actions, initiatives, and action plans to also adhere to the agroforest action plan and speed up solutioning, because one way or the other solving will be a race against time. It is obvious that two or more good action plans, that eventually would appear, do not necessarily prejudice the agroforest action plan or other plans, and that most probably they would add up. Obviously proving that the agroforest action plan is the best and proving there is no other competing realistic and efficient action plan would make worldwide consensus around the agroforest action plan and the reaching of eventual critical masses so much easier and realistic. Obviously to be proven is not the case for all the proposed actions and initiatives that already appear in the media, and therefore are known to most humans or at least to a critical mass of humans. Think of the actions and initiatives of Greta Thornburg and Elon Musk and their approval in for instance the USA and China. For sure the approval of any of them would be highly divided, and would encounter a lot of resistance to become consensus for all humans. The chances of the actions and initiatives of Greta Thornburg and Elon Musk to become consensus and get all the support they need are highly insecure and questionable. Even if this division only were for political reasons, such division most probably is and would be a killer for any of both action plans to become consensus and ever obtain the desired and needed results. From this perspective, the fact that the agroforest action plan is largely unheard of and consequently not politically at this point is not only an advantage, but possibly essential for success. Further none of the actions and initiatives of Greta Thornburg and Elon Musk are real action plans, please see the essential elements in the short video. The initiative and action of Greta Thornburg is brave, presents a certain dynamic and thus is very important to listen to, remembering that she herself does not even claim her action to be a full-blown action plan, let alone a model and surely this is the case for her opponents. The initiative and action of Elon Musk, which is a prize competition regarding sequestering of carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, is brave, presents a certain dynamic and thus is very important to listen to, remembering that he himself does not even claim it to be a full-blown action plan, let alone a model. He considers his initiative and action only as an ongoing incentivism of others to find ways of advanced carbon dioxide removal, at least at this point. The initiatives and actions of Greta Thornburg and Elon Musk both stimulate others to propose action plans or at least an element of an action plan or model. Activists and CEOs other than Greta Thornburg and Elon Musk could try to add their or all actions, plans, and initiatives. We think that also in these cases the conclusions most probably would be the same as for the initiatives and actions of Greta Thornburg and Elon Musk. So apart from the yet unknown agroforest action plan we humans find ourselves in a total impasse. We have been in this impasse for over 50 years, because the Club of Rome can be seen as an action and initiative, and as a clear marker in time. Roughly the ingredients of the Club of Rome, Greta Thorberg and Elon Musk stayed the same all these decades of total impasse. 
Since the Club of Rome, all threats started to grow exponentially or at least doubled in severity, while at the same time new threats appeared, the most mentioned being amongst them, none of the early threats was solved or disappeared. Goals that seemed to have a great deal of consensus seemed to be or come out of reach according to most scientists and also lost consensus. All this confirms we are at an seemingly unsolvable impasse. The mood amongst a growing number of humans, especially the younger, seems to reflect this for them seemingly unsolvable impasse and portions of fear-mongering they are confronted with. The PDB proposed Agroforest Action Plan, or any other action plan that could appear for that matter, must be capable of breaking this decades-long impasse. We claim that right now there is no such other action plan apart from the by PDB proposed Agroforest Action Plan and model. So the only existing action plan should and needs to get some attention, viewing or reading, and perhaps some credit. Further, we should keep in mind that the Agroforest Action Plan Plan, or PDB Action Plan, also presents a working model, which for any other action plan will take years if not decennia before taking a working form. Without such attention and credit, also this unique Agroforest Action Plan, or PDB Action Plan, will fail and eventually kind of die, just like the knowledge amongst those that played a role in its development and operation. At best such failure of this unique agroforest action plan, or PDB action plan, will make us humans lose more precious time and us humans also lose the model that a large number of dedicated persons is working on for decades, at worst humans will be doomed to extinction especially if no other suitable action plan will appear in time. We do not even know what would be in time, if we do not take near global action soon we most probably are already doomed. The globally known activist and the globally known CEO we mentioned as examples directly or indirectly confirm this, the mood amongst the young, which over many generations are famous to behave self-assured, undeterrable and invincible, also seem to confirm this. Freely and readily accessible for all humans. Regarding Agroforest Action Plan, or PDB Action Plan, being freely accessible for all humans, we would like to argue that most of the videos on this and other channels of ours are subtitled in five languages and freely accessible, no paywall whatsoever. Regarding efficiency. While efficiency, cost, etc. are subjects that are quite complex, we only present a sense of dimension of the Agroforest Action Plan, or PDB Action Plan, comparing it with the area of the planet today covered with solar panels. The area of land used for agriculture in 2024 and that could be transformed into agroforests represents 2,000 times more than the area today covered with solar panels. Correcting with the effective area that, overlapping, leaves cover, this represents roughly 8,000 times more. Now we will present the most dramatic part of this comparison, and for a moment, we give all importance to CO2, while we consider CO2 far from all that matters. While leaves of all trees and plants capture CO2 out of the atmosphere and present an extremely powerful biotic pump effect, solar panels do not capture CO2 at all, nor do they present a biotic pump effect, nor do they evaporate humidity, form clouds, or cool the planet in any other way. In fact the production of solar panels involves considerable emission of CO2 and while in operation they emit heat for all of their lifetime. Resuming, the basis for the only element that matters in the context of this video, Agroforest Action Plan, is already in place in some form and as said its area is 8,000 times more than the area covered by all solar panels of the world combined. At this point all tropical forest, only one third of it is left, could be included in this picture and that would make it above 10,000 times more. Solar panels only represent 00001% of the area that tree and plant leaves cover in the Agroforest Action Plan. The area covered by solar panels is not even a significant fraction of 1%, while if it were 1%, which is 10,000 times more, this would remain insignificant, especially since solar panels do not solve anything related to the threats and the perfect storm. Compared to the insignificant amount of solar panels, mechanical or technological carbon dioxide removal installations are insignificant, do not have any significant effect on the amount of carbon in the atmosphere, and obviously will produce heat directly and indirectly apart from consuming enormous amounts of energy. The same is the case for EV cars. Solar panels and EV cars do not solve the threats or perfect storm, but instead will significantly add to these. To be clear, we are very much in favor of solar panels and EV cars, because 1. Solar panels are essential parts of our model and any other eventual model, and 
2. EV cars also play or can play an important role too, for instance in the general backup of energy and even in generation of emergency energy. However, we hope to make you aware that in the direct context of threats and perfect storm they, solar panels, EV cars, and eventual future carbon dioxide removal, are totally insignificant and even ineffective, when not observed in the context of action plans and models. Nevertheless, we should no longer fool ourselves and all our, eventual, descendants, and give attention to the obvious and only solution, action plan and model, that is able to solve our threats in time and to get out of the perfect storm. We need to stop being collectively blind to or hiding the best and only solution. A unique destination and a unique opportunity. Please enjoy our videos and discover this paradise. Don't hesitate to get in touch. You can find the contacts in the description of this video and of the related videos. Engineer Johannes and Team, PDB Destination, RN, Brazil. Please like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Likes, subscribing, pressing the bell icon, and last but not least passing links to others, activists, CEOs, and influencers are very significant as action. For now we would like to reinforce an interesting quote of Greta Thunberg. There is hope, it comes from the people. Possibly the next quote of her is even more interesting. Once we start to act, hope is everywhere. So instead of looking for hope, look for action. Then, and only then, hope will come. This is our PDB quote. Be an active part of the dawn of action, solution, and the real human being.